Good morning, Ashley here on the Daily Stoic Recovery Podcast. Wherever you go, there is your choice. A podium and a prison is each a place. One high and the other low. But in either place, your freedom of choice can be maintained if you wish. Epictetus discusses and so today's reflections from the Daily Stoic book by Ryan Holiday and yeah I'm sort of playing with the the name of this podcast it's gone from my Daily Stoic to today Daily Stoic Recovery Podcast so I'm just playing with it to see what feels good as I am in recovery from emotional addictions, specifically gambling, pornography, and just in but in general, just emotions, guilt, shame, embarrassment, and you know, be, feeling like a victim. So, I've been using. The words from the Stoics in the past year, 18 months, um, especially from a book, The Daily Stoic, to help, to use as a tool to give me a perception of how to see life, how to see life in a different way. And it, it's helped me up to this point on the 19th of January. And yeah, it feels good to share my journey with other recoverers from, it might be gambling, um, eating, pornography, sex, alcohol, drugs. Um, I don't believe it's a thing that we're addicted to. I believe it's the, the emotion. It's the emotion of doing it. It's not the act of doing gambling. It's, it's you know, the reason why we're doing that thing that we're addicted to. It's the chemistry. So, yeah, we're, we're playing with the names. Um, let me know if you can, if you like the name, the Daily Stoic Recovery Podcast. And yeah, today's excerpt is continuing our month of control and perception in January. Wherever you go, where there the choice there. There, your choices, and what Epictetus is saying here, I believe that you know whatever situation you're in, whoever you're with, whatever time it is, you will always have the power of the freedom of your own choice. Uh, you might, you might be laid low. You might today. You might be feeling you might be on a roll and that could change within five minutes it could change tomorrow could change next week but the being aware of your your inner freedom of choice basically means you can take it around with you wherever you go it's always there whatever situation there is and you don't feel like and you, you're not dictated your emotions, how you feel, how you think, what you do is not dictated on the situation you're in. Whether if, if you have loads of money or no money, if you're rich, poor, what your body looks like, how, where you live, who you're with, what the weather's like. Freedom of choice is not dependent on that. Freedom of choice is it's there all the time. It stays with you. So it's but just being aware of that and being aware of you know, your choices, the freedom of your choices and being aware of that you always maintain it. It's always there no, no matter what. No matter what, how difficult your circumstance, your situation is. It'll always be there. You are freedom. 
and a lot of people believe that freedom is outside the, their choices freedom is in someone else's choices and it's it's loving that story it's loving that story that freedom is outside you love you might you might think that freedom your freedom of choice is with money or with, with the what the government are doing you know you might think that the government um or you know politicians have are dictating your choices at the moment. You might think that the amount of money you have is dictating your choices or your status, your uh, what your job is. You might think that you know your job dictates how you move and think and feel. So it's being aware of that and meditating about and thinking, reflecting on okay, what what do you control and what you don't control? And ask, asking yourself, do you control what the politicians do, what your boss does? Um, do you control opinions of other people? And it's really understanding, recognising what you do control, which is practically your own choices, your own perceptions, your own impressions and opinions of things. And it's just remind yourself every day of these that fact that that is the only thing that we control. Your body is not yours. Your job is not yours. Decisions that pe other people make are not yours. The only thing that you own in this short time is your choices. You can make a choice in. You can make the choice in any circumstance and. Yeah, my experience before I was aware of my freedom of choice, before I was aware of, before I sort of reflected on what I control and what I don't control, I was, I was being dragged around by my situation, and yeah, I had some situations that I perceived that were great. You know, I worked in the Tui, uh, as a fitness instructor three, two and a half seasons, and I was working in hotels, you know, living in the, living in the hotels, and I was in the sun, and I was doing something I enjoyed doing, I was getting lots of credit off people, I was, you know, being fed at the hotel, free, co free, free course meal every, every evening, and, so I had the highs, I've had the highs, but I've had the lows where, you know, I've been at home and I've since I've been, I've been looking for that feeling of, you know, I want, I want that situation, looking for that situation, trying to find that situation from somewhere to make me feel like I've, like I'm free. And I found it in like the gambling and, uh, the, the binge, the binge, social media, the TV, TV programs, mindlessly doing things, just looking for answers, but not knowing that the answers are right here. They're right in how you we feel. Like it's like feeling, feeling these these emotions before they actually happen. Before rather than searching for them. And yeah, we have a we have freedom to choose how we feel. We do. So it's not that it's not the things, it's not the place, it's not the people that that make us feel a certain way. Um we can choose, we can to feel, we can choose to if we we, we choose how a situation is the impression of a situation because one impression for someone might be different to another so it's not it's being objective about situations and yeah whether you're on a podium or in a prison and um, 
it's a place. It's just a place and yeah, maintaining, maintenance of your power of choice, sitting with it and yeah, not being dragged around by situations, keeping a calm mind, because for me it's been keeping a calm mind, being objective about things and just knowing that everything's moving around, our emotions are changing every 10 minutes probably. You might be feeling down for one minute and then magically 15 minutes later you're back up again. But, and you, we feel like these emotions last forever and we want them to last forever. And you know we want, we want these good feelings to last forever. Um, and they can, but if you're relying on other things to make you feel good, then no, it's not. It's not sustainable. The only sustainable way of feeling good is through your own powers, through your own, through your own perceptions of things, by looking at, by not, by choosing to look at things in a good way. Um, as we can do that, um, we can we can choose to look at a situation in a good way. However, you might be thinking, well, I haven't got enough money. I've I need money. I've I'm low on money. I, I haven't got a job. I haven't achieved much in my life. Um, you know, I'm overweight. I'm, I'm not fit enough. All these things might be going in your head to sort of resist you from the ch choice of looking at these things and thinking, okay, what, what, what's the next step? And what does it mean to me? Are all these things, what does it mean? Um, and sort of, how is it serving you feeling this way? And, and asking yourself, you know, is a problem that I'm reaching for things to escape from these feelings. With me, it was gambling. I was reaching for things, and yeah, I'd I'd place a bet on sometimes, and I'd win a few hundred pounds, and I'd feel good. And then you know, I'd, I'd think that like feeling, I'd want that feeling to last forever. And then the next day, I'm placing another bet on the next week, and I lose, lose, lose it all again, and feeling low. And it's just a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster of emotions. But we can choose to be, you know, indifferent about these external things around us. These external things. You know, it's raining today. You know, am I going to be miserable about that, or am I going to be grateful that the earth is getting fed? So it's looking at. It's looking at things and seeing it as a positive, seeing it practicing, practicing a positive way, finding positive things, even the small things. And yeah, that's um, that's my reflections for today. About you know, it's not it's not about being on a podium or being in prison. That's just a situation. Freedom of choice is for eternity. So practice that today. And thank you for listening, watching on YouTube or on my podcast. And wish you a good day, peaceful day. And I'll upload this now. Thank you.